Flowers of Love, A Small Town, Florist's Journey to Finding Happiness. Claire is a young woman in her mid-twenties who lives in a small town on the outskirts of a bustling city. She has been working as a florist for a few years now and finds joy in creating beautiful arrangements for her customers. Claire loves flowers and the way they bring color and life to any space. She finds great satisfaction in making others happy through her work. Despite the small town's slower pace of life, Claire is content with her daily routine. She wakes up early each morning to tend to her plants and get ready for work. She heads to her little flower shop, which is located just a few blocks from her apartment, and opens for the day. The shop is small, but cozy and welcoming, filled with the sweet fragrance of fresh blooms. Claire takes great pride in her work and the artistry that goes into each arrangement she creates. She carefully selects each flower and greenery, mixing colors and textures to make stunning bouquets and centerpieces. After a long day at work, Claire returns to her small apartment. It's not much, but it's cozy and comfortable, filled with plants and flowers she has collected over the years. She enjoys cooking dinner and settling in with a good book or movie. For Claire, this is the perfect way to unwind after a busy day. While some may view Claire's life as boring or mundane, she doesn't see it that way. She is grateful for her job, her home, and the simple pleasures in her life. She takes joy in the little things, like the way the morning light shines through her apartment window, or the way a particular flower blooms in her garden. Claire's life may not be filled with grand adventures or exciting experiences, but to her, it is perfect just the way it is. She finds peace and contentment in the beauty of her everyday routine and the simple pleasures that bring her joy. Claire was closing up her small flower shop for the day when a man walked in. She was immediately struck by his good looks and charming smile. He introduced himself as Jonathan, and Claire couldn't help but feel drawn to him. A tall man with broad shoulders and chiseled features. He had dark hair that fell in messy waves around his face and piercing blue eyes that seemed to look right through Claire. He had a confident air about him, but there was also a gentleness and warmth in the way he spoke that put her at ease. Jonathan had a way of making Claire feel alive in a way she had never experienced before. He was easy to talk to and seemed genuinely interested in getting to know her. They talked for what seemed like hours, and before she knew it, it was dark outside and she had to close up the shop. Claire couldn't stop thinking about Jonathan after he left. She felt a new sense of excitement and energy that she hadn't felt in a long time. She was falling in love, and it was both exhilarating and terrifying. The next few days were a blur as Claire went about her routine, but her thoughts were consumed by Jonathan. She found herself daydreaming about him at work and even started rearranging the flowers in the shop to impress him if he came back. Claire realized that she wanted more out of life than just her small flower shop and routine. She wanted adventure, love, and happiness, and she was starting to think that Jonathan might be the key to finding those things. Whenever she saw him in town, her heart would flutter, and she would feel a rush of excitement. She knew it was silly to feel this way about someone she barely knew, but she couldn't help it. Jonathan had awakened something inside her, a desire for more than just the ordinary life she had been living. As the days went on, Claire started to become more confident around Jonathan. She laughed more, spoke her mind, and even flirted a little. Jonathan seemed to be reciprocating her feelings, and she was over the moon. Jonathan and Claire's love blossomed quickly, and soon they were inseparable. They spent most of their time together, exploring new places and experiencing new things. Claire was thrilled to have found someone who shared her sense of adventure and love for life. As they spent more time together, Jonathan shared more about his past. He had grown up in a small town, much like Claire, but had always felt restless and yearned for something more. He had moved to the city as soon as he could, hoping to find the excitement and adventure that he craved. In the city, 
Jonathan had worked a series of dead-end jobs, struggling to make ends meet and feeling unfulfilled in his life. But then he had stumbled upon a group of like-minded individuals who shared his love for art and music. He had started attending underground shows and events and soon found himself surrounded by a community of people who shared his passion for creativity and self-expression. It was after one of these events that he had met Claire, and from the moment they laid eyes on each other, they knew that they were meant to be together. Now, as they walked hand in hand through the streets of the city, Claire felt a sense of contentment that she had never known before. She felt as if she had finally found her place in the world, and that place was by Jonathan's side. They spent their days exploring art galleries and museums, trying new restaurants and bars, and simply enjoying each other's company. Even the most mundane activities, like grocery shopping or doing laundry, felt like an adventure when they were together. Claire had never felt so alive, and she knew that she owed it all to Jonathan. He had shown her a new way of living, a life filled with passion and purpose. She was grateful to have found someone who saw the world in the same way that she did, and who encouraged her to be her true self. As they sat together on a park bench, watching the sun set over the city skyline, Claire leaned her head on Jonathan's shoulder and whispered, I love you. I love you too, he replied, kissing her forehead. In that moment, Claire knew that she was exactly where she was meant to be. With Jonathan by her side, she felt invincible, as if anything was possible. She knew that their love was strong enough to withstand anything that life could throw at them, and that together, they could conquer the world. As their relationship blossoms, Claire and Jonathan face their first major challenge, Jonathan's job offer in a different city. Despite their deep love for each other, the prospect of a long-distance relationship is daunting. Jonathan's job offer in a different city was a difficult decision for both Claire and him. They spent days discussing and weighing the pros and cons of Jonathan accepting the job offer. Jonathan's previous job had been mundane, and he felt like he was not making any progress in his career. However, he was afraid of losing Claire if he moved to another city. On the other hand, Claire understood that Jonathan needed to take the job to advance his career. She supported his decision and encouraged him to take the job. However, deep down, she was heartbroken at the thought of being away from Jonathan for such a long time. Despite her sadness, she was determined to make the long-distance relationship work. The long-distance relationship was challenging for both Claire and Jonathan. They missed each other terribly, and the distance felt unbearable at times. They struggled to maintain a connection as they were not together in person. They tried to keep the love alive by calling and texting each other frequently. They made sure to plan regular visits and surprise each other with thoughtful gestures. It was difficult, but they learned to cherish the time they had together and made the most of it. Jonathan, who had always been a bit reserved, learned to express his emotions more freely. He wrote Claire heartfelt letters and poems and sent her little presents to remind her of his love. Claire, on the other hand, was grateful for Jonathan's efforts, and she too tried her best to make the relationship work. She realized that their love was worth fighting for, and distance could not diminish the bond they shared. After a year of long distance, Jonathan was offered a job back in Claire's town. They were both ecstatic at the prospect of being together again. They moved in together and started a new chapter of their lives. As they settled into their new routine, they reflected on the challenges they faced and how their love had only grown stronger through them. They realized that their love was worth fighting for and that they were meant to be together. They spent their days exploring their small town, holding hands and laughing together. Jonathan surprised Claire with flowers and small gifts every now and then, making her feel cherished and loved. Claire cooked Jonathan's favorite meals, and they shared romantic dinners together. They knew that they had faced the biggest challenge of their relationship 
and had come out stronger on the other side. They were happy and in love, knowing that they had each other to face whatever challenges may come their way.